Recently, Inventables has contacted some video creators in the woodworking community and asked them if they'd like to try out the Shape of Woe 2. They're going to send it to us for free. Just simply put it together, do a review on it, and run their Hello World at the end of the video. Not a lot of, you know, stipulations for getting a free CNC machine. So I have graciously accepted, and I'm very happy to show you what I've done with this machine. Um, I, di I didn't exactly do what they, what they asked. They said put it together. Do a review on it and you know show the shape of it too. Well, I put it together, but I did it Izzy style. I just have one question for y'all. What are all those parts for? <laughs> Somebody at Venables just swallowed their bubble gum. <laughs> oh. Hmm. These look a little short. <laughs> That's better. So I went ahead and purchased the upgrade or the up, you know, the longer a maker rail so I can make mine a little bit bigger. Now I have a couple of ideas about making this thing pretty big, like eight feet by a meter, and uh, we're going to give it a shot today and see if it works out. So uh, first of all, thank you Inventables for giving me the opportunity to mess with this. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I got to clear off my bench so I've got a nice place to put all the parts. <laughs> Uh, meter wide and eight feet long right now I can only cut six feet because I don't have enough maker rail and um, strap to, to make the whole eight feet. So there you have it the Izzy Swan version of the Shape Oak O2. You know honestly coming into this I was a little bit intimidated when Inventable said they were sending it out but I thought to myself how hard could it possibly be I mean Bob Claggett did it. <laughs> Sorry Bob. So anyway there you have it you know I know a lot of people have been talking about the time it took them to put it together um, honestly, it's not a fair assessment with this big old torsion box and everything, but the, the gantry itself took about four and a half hours. That's minus the electrical work, just the fabrication side of it. And um, it wasn't that really that hard. I mean, the directions were pretty well laid out. A couple small indiscrepancies, but nothing, nothing crazy. So it was. I really appreciate the opportunity to have a chance to mess around with this. I haven't done any cutting yet. And I will probably be posting a couple of videos about the, um, how the whole system works, being that it's as big as it is. And uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Let me know what you think, and I'd be happy to answer them. If you guys would like to see a more in-depth video about the, the torsion box, how I extended the rails, again, comments below. Let me know, and I'll hit that up. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and um, we'll talk to you soon.